Hi guys, um, I'm going to show you how to make a zebra print frame. It sounds easy, it is. Basically just drawing zebra print on a frame. Uh, but I'm going to show you anyway. i got to move the camera a minute. Um, so, you're going to need paper, obviously, scissors, a frame with a thin outer frame, is it? <laughs> but it needs to be thin because the zebra print part is going to be quite thick and you still need space to put your picture. Uh, and a black marker, really, and that is it. Uh, it is as easy as it sounds. So the back of your frame, you're going to take this part off. Mind the glass, put that out of the way. And this is going to be the measurement size. Get your piece of paper. Not sure if you can see that. Um, place this on the paper. Make sure it's right. And draw around it. So you're left with that. And that is the measurement for your frame. Uh, now, it all depends on you how thick you want the zebra print on your frame. I want mine pretty thick, so I'm going to use this as a guide. This is what was in the frame before, but I don't like using these flimsy things. And I'm going to draw around that, the middle part, I mean. <laughs> uh, If your frame didn't come with one of these inside frame things, uh, then just get a ruler and draw however size you want, really. But this is the ideal size that I want mine. So, this is pretty messy right now. <laughs> um, and that is what you'll have. You can decide how much space you want in between but that's the perfect size for me uh, then all you do is cut out the middle part and cut around the edges I'll just do that quickly Now, I know the middle part is always hard to do because you've got to try and get in there some way but I fold mine over first and then cut, cut through the middle, open it back out and then you've got this little slit thing <laughs> to cut it out which I find is easier than trying to poke a hole through it. I know it seems like this isn't very, uh, very stiff, you know, paper's very flimsy, but once it's on the glass, and you've got the cardboard behind it, it'll stay in place, it's not going to move. So you don't need to worry about that. 
Okay, so that is cut out now. And we're going to start drawing zebra print on it now. Um, I'm going to put it on another piece of paper because, well, I don't want to have a print carpet. <laughs> okay, so I only need to do lines, thick lines, thin lines, just lines, basically. That is zebra print, isn't it? So I'm going to start over here. And you can make your zebra print lines however you like really, it's your frame. Just do whatever makes you happy. And that's what it should look like. And you just do that all the way around. I've already got one right here, which I did earlier. Um, get your frame from earlier. Your favourite picture, which is me and my friend, Donna. and. Place that where you want it. And just to make it more secure, I always get a bit of cardboard just to stick on the back, just to keep it in place a bit more. But before you put that on, you're going to want to put your zebra print down facing that one. zebra print. I think it's pretty fun and I've got a zebra print boom so this goes perfect with what I've got. Uh, if this helped you and you do it I'd love to see a picture of what you've done and um, if you think this was helpful then comment or like. Thanks for watching.